Hello viewers, this is Dao Too Fast here. In today's video, I want to show you this very good wireless solar security camera system from the company Aosu. It's packed with a lot of great features. Each camera comes with a solar panel to charge an internal battery, so you can run it year round without having to bring it down and charge it. The camera records in 2K resolution and has built-in infrared LED for night vision recording, and also has a built-in spotlight for color night image. Now with the event recording, they're saved in a dedicated home base that's placed inside your home. So you don't ever have to worry about people breaking or stealing your camera because those videos are securely saved in the home base. The cameras have very good motion detection and the settings allow you to configure how sensitive you want it to eliminate false alerts. And best of all, with this system, you don't have to pay any monthly or yearly fees to use it. You can access your cameras anywhere you have data connection. In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about this camera and we'll also take a look at some of the recording, both daytime and nighttime. Let's get started. Let me show you the unboxing of this Aosu security camera system. Now this one I have here comes with four cameras. You can also get one with two cameras. So let's open this up. Right here are the four solar panels. As you can see, these are very small and compact, which is nice. Makes installation very easy. This is a user manual. Security stickers. Right here is the home base. There's a power adapter for the home base. Ethernet cable. Mounting hardware for the cameras. USB-C power cable to charge cameras. Right here is the mounting hardware. Here are the four security cameras. Again, there are four in this kit. So let's have a closer look at one of the camera. I'll first peel off this protective plastic. Now at the very top is the status LED. Right below that, this is the camera. Now the resolution on this camera is 2K Quad HD. The viewing angle of this camera is 166 degrees, so it's a wide angle lens. The camera also features night vision recording. Now below the camera is a spotlight. When this turns on, it will record the nighttime video in color. Below the spotlight, there's a microphone. This camera does feature two-way audio. And right at the bottom here is the motion sensor. Looking at the bottom, right here is a speaker. On the right is a sync button. Now if you open this cover here, there's a USB-C connector. This is where you can charge the internal battery. After installing this, when you connect the solar panel to this camera, it will also charge the internal battery of this camera. Let me show you the mount for the camera. Right here is the mounting base. It's marked up in this direction. What you want to do is install this onto the wall. And they've included the mounting hardware and the screws. And right here is the mounting bracket. What you want to do is screw this onto the back of the camera. And then you slide this onto the base. You can also adjust the angle. Here's a look at the solar panel. On the back, this is where you install the mounts. And the mount for the solar panel is right here. Remove this collar. And then install the space onto the wall. Next, place this universal joint onto the base. And then put the collar on top. And now you can tighten this down. You can also adjust the angle of the solar panel. Now you can thread this end onto the back of the solar panel. The wire that comes out has a USB-C connector. With this connector, plug it into the back of the camera. And that's how it charges this camera. Right here is a home base. On the front is a status LED. On the bottom is a speaker. Looking at the back, this is where you connect the ethernet cable that goes to your home router. There's a USB port. And right here is a power connector. And on the right is a reset switch. Now inside this home base, there's a 32 gigabyte flash memory. And the way this system works is the camera will actually connect to this home base and all the recordings will be saved onto the flash drive. The main benefit of doing it this way is if let's say the camera fails, all the recordings are saved in this unit. Also, let's say if you're worried about somebody coming up to your home and stealing the camera, the video footage is not saved in the camera. It's actually saved in this home base. That's why it's good to have a system like this. Here I'm gonna connect the power supply to this home base. Next I'll connect the ethernet cable from my home router to this ethernet port. Now power this on. Next, you'll need to install the Aosu app on your mobile device. In the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, you'll find the app called Aosu. Go ahead and install it. 
with the app installed. Go ahead and open it. Next, create an account. After you create the account, you see this page. Next, I'll need to power on one of the camera. Now, as part of the initial setup, I do recommend you charge the internal battery of the camera. To do that, all you need is a USB charger. Right here, I have a USB-C charging cable. And open up this cover at the bottom, and then plug the charging cable into this port you see right here. Now, now according, according to the manual, manual, the charging time is about seven hours. And right here, you see the green LED flashing. That tells you it's charging. And when it's fully charged, the green LED will be solid. Back on the app, I'm going to select Add Devices. Next, it will ask you to scan the QR code of the home base. Select Ready to Scan. Now, select the solar cam system. Here, it tells you to connect the Ethernet cable to the home base and power this on, which I've done already. Select Continue. Next, you'll need to power on all the cameras. What you want to do is press and hold the Sync button for five seconds. Once it's powered on, you'll hear the prompt, hello, and the top blue LED will illuminate. Do the same thing for the other cameras to power on. Hello. Hello. Next, press the sync button on the back of the home base until you hear a beep. Now the home base will scan for all four cameras. Now during this initial setup, make sure your phone is connected to the home Wi-Fi. Here you see it connected to the home base and right now is searching for all four cameras. Now I found all four cameras. Now select done. Now besides saving the video clip to the home base, you also have the option to sign up for cloud storage. For now I'm just going to skip it. Select continue. Now here's a quick tutorial on how to use the app. With all the cameras set up, let me show you some of the functions and features and settings of this app. So right now you're looking at the main page of the app and this is showing you the thumbnail that's saved from the last time you view the cameras. So this is not the live view, okay? But you do see all four cameras listed here. If you want to look at the live view, press play on one of the camera. Now this is a live view that you're looking at. Let's go into settings for this camera. Right here you can change the name of this camera. The camera is on and the motion detection is enabled. If you tap on the motion detection, you can set the detection zone. If you select Add, you can set the detection zone. So anything inside the zone will detect motion. Anything outside will not. And then you can save it or you can delete the setting. You can also enable human only. So the motion detection will only detect human. Let's go back. Auto alarm. By default it's disabled. If you enable this when it detects motion, the camera will actually sound an alert. Let's go back. Notification settings. By default, push notification is on, so you will receive notification for motion detection on your phone. Now you have two settings here, immediate mode or intelligent mode. With immediate mode, if it detects any motion, you will get a push notification. If you set it to intelligent mode, where the camera will analyze the motion before setting out any notification. Cloud recording, you do have the option to do a seven day trial or subscribe to cloud recording. Video and audio, if you have a slower network connection, you can choose smooth mode, but the picture won't be as sharp. Now for the night vision mode, by default, the automatic switching is on. So this will turn on the infrared LED automatically at night, and the infrared LEDs are on the side of this camera. Now if you select the white light illumination, the spotlight here will turn on at night. That will give you a color nighttime video. But with that, anyone looking at the camera at night will see that spotlight turn on. Or you have the option to turn off all the infrared lights. You also have two-way talk speaker. Here you can increase and decrease the volume. Privacy settings. By default, the record sound is enabled. Battery management. Here will show you the charge level of the internal battery. By default, the intelligent detection mode is on. This will allow for 60 seconds of video recording. If you enable the power saving mode, then the video recording is only 20 seconds. The LED status light is on by default. That's the status LED light on top of the camera here. At the very bottom, you have firmware updates. If there are any new updates, it will prompt you to update the camera. Now on this screen at the bottom, you have illumination. This will turn on the spotlight right here. Next to it, you have tone. This will actually mask your voice when you're doing two-way audio. So I'll put a more masculine voice. And if you want to do a two-way audio, you can press talk. If you want to sound the alarm, you can press this button right here. Let's go back. 
So you can go through the settings for each of these cameras. Now if you select view multicam, then it'll bring up live view of all four cameras. You can also press this button at the top right hand corner to show all four cameras at the same time. So as you can see, the app is very simple to use. So at this time, let's get these cameras installed and I'll show you more of the actual recording of different events around my home. With the AOSU home base, I installed it in my network closet and connected this to my home network that has internet access. Here I'm installing the base mount. After you thread the camera onto the base, you loosen this collar and adjust the angle. Next to the camera, I install the mounting base for the solar panel. Now slide this mount onto the base. If you need to adjust the angle, there's a ball joint in the back. You adjust the angle. And lastly, connect the USB charge cable from the solar panel to the camera. Here's a look at this camera installed. Here I install the other camera at the side of my house. I install one of the camera on my back shed and this camera points to my backyard. With the last camera, I mounted it on my tree at the front of my house. And the reason I did this is because the view this camera has is the entire front of my house. Because the camera connects wirelessly to the home base, you have the flexibility to point the camera away from the house or towards the house. With the cameras installed, let me show you what the camera view looks like. This first camera here is pointing at the front door of my house. This next one is the one installed at the back of the house. Now this one is at the front of my garage. And then this one is the one I installed on the tree pointing towards my house. Now with each of these cameras, you can see it'll tell you the charge level of the internal battery. And these are all fully charged. Using this app, you can connect and view the cameras anytime, anywhere without any fees. Now if you want to look at the live view right now, select the camera and it'll play back the live view. It does have two-way audio, so if you enable the speaker, I turn up the volume, you can hear the audio. You can also take a snapshot of this live view, and that'll be saved to your phone. Now if you want to record a video right now, select this camera here. Now it's recording the live video, and it'll be saved to your phone. Now depending on how fast your connection is on the phone, you can select Ultra HD resolution, or SD resolution. Now the SD resolution is your standard definition, so it's not as sharp. The picture with Ultra HD will be much sharper. Now if you want to play back the video, select this playback button right here. So now it will play back the recorded videos. And here at the bottom, it will show you all the recordings. Now you notice the recordings will show you what type of motion detection it has. For example, it says stain, motion, cross-camera tracking, passing. So the difference with these type of motion detection is motion is any motion that it detects. Passing is if someone walk across a camera. Cross-camera tracking is if an object like a car passes in front of the camera. Now the staying is when an object or a person kind of hovers and walk around in front of the camera. Now if you want to filter and sort these type of detection, there's a filter button right here. Select that. And now you can select, say, cross-camera tracking, and then confirm. Now I'll show you all the cross-camera tracking detection. Now with any of the video clips, if you want to download it, there is a download button right here. You can select that, and it'll download the video to your phone. And here is some nighttime recording. This one's passing. And there's a cross-camera tracking. Now these cameras do have two-way audio. If you want to speak to it, select the talk button at the bottom right here. Now you can talk into the camera. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Now let me show you the nighttime video. Let's look at the live video on the front camera. Now for the night vision, the infrared LED will be illuminated. That's why the picture you're looking at is black and white. Now remember, this camera does have a built-in spotlight. You can manually turn on a spotlight by pressing the illuminate button at the bottom left hand corner. As you can see, the picture is now in full color. If you turn the phone horizontally, now you have full screen mode. You can also zoom in.
Here I'll show you some of the actual video recording for both daytime and nighttime. I've been using this AOSU security camera system for over a month now and I can tell you it's a very good performing system. The setup is very simple. Once you've done the initial setup, you can install the cameras around your home. For each camera, you can tweak the settings of the sensitivity and you can also set up detection zone to reduce the number of false alarms. With the app, you can quickly and easily pull up the recordings from the home base and you can also download it to your mobile phone. If you're in a market for an easy to set up security system with no monthly fees, I highly recommend this AOSU security camera system. If you want to learn more about it, check out the link in the video description below. Hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.